Okay, so as you're seen by the title, I have a suggestion here by Asma Sadaf. He's got a couple for me, actually. I'll be doing the other one later on throughout this week or overnight this weekend. Uh, but anyway, at the time of this recording, it's just about 1 a.m. I meant to get to this sooner, but there is the light raid with Bojack going on, and I was doing that with RC for a while. And then some issues here and there with the cat, so that all happened. But anyway, I'm here and I'm ready to show off. Pretty decent deck you put together. I'll go over what I would do differently once we get into the battle here. Uh, but from what I've looked at, very solid overall. I think it could be a little bit slower, especially if you're just focused on going second each turn. But other than that, pretty dang good overall. Now, me personally, I, I don't care for Whis at all as a figure anymore. I just think he's kind of outclassed nowadays. Uh, still viable, yes, but nowhere near as good as he used to be. So, what I would do differently with the deck. Uh, me personally, if I were really going to switch this up, I would just give Bardock and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I would just give them all attack up second, idiom up second, and uh, defense up second. I wanted to run it the way that Asma wanted, wanted me to run it though, so that's what I'm doing here. And plus one other thing I do want to mention is, I think it's a 10% boost if it's ADM up B. It's either 10 or... F it, it's gotta be 10%. I'm pretty sure it's 10%, but any, anyway, 10% of over 7,000 is over 700 attack. So ADM up B would do much better than attack up B. Keeping that in mind. But anyway, I'm actually gonna do something else here. I'm gonna start off by putting Rose Goku Blackout with both Whis and Vados because I want him to survive for as long as possible while also dealing a lot of damage. And one thing I would do slightly differently with Rose Goku Black, I have a variant of him already with... Um, I got two different variants of him actually. I got one that has everything in defense and um, one where I cut it off at um, at just 2,000. Uh, that's one of the variants, or one of the dupes that Muggs actually did, which is a very good one. And that's that's the one I would recommend. And put the rest in either attack or HP at that point. Uh, but, of course, build your figures however you folks want to. These are just, you know, things I would do differently. And it's very good that he's uh, suggested ultimate gauge down every turn on Whis and Vados. They're very, very tanky. And more often than not, they're usually going to be enough, especially if you're putting them both on the field each turn. The uh, reason why I don't find Whis to be particularly good at all anymore is because I think he's solely outclassed by the original Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And I would even go as far as saying he's even outclassed by my personal favorite figure, which is, of course, the HP variant of Final Explosion, Vegeta. Especially if you dupe him all into attack, he's got 7,000 HP in attack at that point. And he's got, like, just over 2,000 speeds, so he's at that slow enough threshold. But he's also going to allow your slower team to eventually outspeed at some point, provided that the enemy doesn't have a whole lot of stuff to slow you down, or god forbid of the bell. But that's another thing you could do, though. These are just ideas, I'm not saying you should do this or that, or anything like that.
that just in my personal opinion, I really don't think Weiss is very good anymore. Uh, I will give him this, and as soon as the game came out, he was definitely one of the most broken figures. And I had brought it up already once or twice on the channel, but it's kind of like Pokemon in that regard. As the generations went on, the metagame got more powerful, and then what was originally a high tier Pokemon may have turned into a lower tier um, due to what's referred to as power creep. Like the metagame up around them as the generations went on just got too powerful for them to keep up anymore. And hopefully that makes some degree of sense. A perfect example I can think of is uh, Claydol, as soon as it was introduced in Generation 3. You know, that weird um, psychic ground Pokemon with all the eyes. Like in Gen 3, where it was introduced, it was actually pretty dang good. And then in 4, it was not too great, but still alright. And then Generation 5 hit, and then it really started to get hit hard. And then from that point on, it just really wasn't worth using at that point. And then that only got worse as soon as Gen 7 came around. And me personally, that sucks because he's actually design wise one of my favorites. And I'm all about, all about the, um, the more tanky mons, personally. Uh, like him, I'm also a huge fan of, well, not necessarily a tank, like in the, the most firm sense of the word Metagross. Oh, let's see, who else, who else can I think of right off the bat? Um, I think Rapierre looks kind of stupid, but he's pretty good. Uh, Snorlax would be another good one. Uh, Blissey, unless you're hitting it physically, then it's like a brick against stain, stained glass. So that thing's dying. Uh, nine times out of ten. But anyway, I'll shout up about Pokemon now. That's not what you guys are here for. So as the more recent figure that just came out, um, Bardock I thought was really, really good initially. And then after, like, the, the next batch or two came out, he's just kind of okay now to me. I would say still very good. Uh, definitely very beatable, can still use him, and he'll put in, put in some really good work. So don't shy away from Bardock or Whis if uh, you want to use them. You could certainly build teams around them also. You know, I'm not saying they're useless or anything. And Jesus, wow, Rosicoku cool Black has been built up quite a freaking bit here. Give me a second, I'm fixing something because visually it's distracting. Okay, I'm good now. Sorry about that. Basically what I was doing was I was just tabbing to that blank Google page and then going back so I don't have to look at the same exact thing on two screens at once. It was, it was a little distracting. Uh, but anyway, a very decent deck overall. Uh, if I were to run it, I would implement a couple of those changes. And I might actually do that sometime, because I do like the way this was built, and I wouldn't, like, completely change it. I would probably still keep the figures and the dupes the same. I might change up the character skill here or two there. Uh, sorry, a uh, character skill here or there, though. Let's see how much speed do they have. 
More than likely, I'm gonna get outsped, but my master's still at full HP. And Rose has like no defense, so that's actually kind of playing with fire. I'm gonna keep him all on here. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Just, this is probably my safe spot. And I will try to go second again. Yeah, pretty impressive uh, just how tanky with all the HP and whatnot that uh, this makes Rosé Goku black. Granted, it's the battle against Blue Goku, who's got a really stally team, but still, it's very good. My main concern, though, is that um, Rosé Goku Black doesn't have, have a whole lot of defense, being entirely duped in HP, of course. And by the way, um, if Unleashed is by chance watching, uh, I didn't want to, like, bug you, because I know you're probably busy with all your programming and stuff, and your um, 12 ultimates in one thing is getting a lot of attention, so that's really cool for you. Uh, but anyway... The um, save editor for the um, chips. I was wondering if in your spare time and if you happen to be watching, you might be able to update that because I tried to get it uh, like running it again recently and it's not letting me do so. Probably because the update with the whole uh, leap year thing and all that. But yeah, if you happen to be watching and uh, you have time to update that, it would be really appreciated. If not, no big deal. I mean, I'm. I can show my boxes after we're done with this fight. I'm good. Like, there's nothing left that I really need. Uh, it would be nice to have another figure or two here. And I could probably stop being lazy and just, you know, grind the chips out. It would actually give me a reason to play the game, but... Eh, I don't really have a whole lot of time to do that anymore. You think I would, working from home, but... Uh, a lot of times, I'm just not really feeling up to it. Also, it just feels really grindy. At the end of the day, it's like, why am I even bothering? Uh, but if anything, I will probably, more than likely, um, check out the site and see if that's been updated recently. I'm sure a lot of folks uh, download your tools, and they are some pretty dang cool and handy tools. So, thank you and shoutouts to Unleash for those, as always. And, um, thank you and shoutouts to RC Blazer as well. Very fun rating with him. Like, there's a reason he gets number one on the leaderboards, probably in, like, every single raid. I know some of them might be, uh, you could maybe chalk up to not a whole lot of people on PC are bothering with, with them anymore, but at the same time, he really does put in the work. Like, I've seen him at nearly 10 million for just one raid. That's freaking crazy. The highest I ever had for one raid, which, it, which by the way, is the only one I've ever gotten first on. Uh, that was during the Zero Mortals plan raid with Rosa Goku Black. And uh, Zamasu, I was just shy of getting 3 mil, and I got first place, but uh, that week, I spent 40 hours doing that raid. It took quite a while, needless to say. You know, one other thing I can definitely comment on is... Not a fan of how there's nothing to go on the bottom right. Me personally, I would probably just... I might... Had, you know, just drop weeks all together for a blue wall Vegeta, a final explosion, because you can easily put him behind Bottoms anyway. Or better yet, you could even keep building up um, damage to OG Super Saiyan 4 Goku, just have him duped entirely in the HP and put it behind Rose Goku Black. Rose Goku Black will just keep getting stronger, and the enemy won't have a choice. Pretty much other than to sit there and watch. 
and Super Saiyan 4 Goku would just continuously decrease the enemy damage. Anyway, those are just some ideas again. It would also let you fall back in another option in the upper right with OG Super Saiyan 4 Goku, so, you know, it's just something to think about. I'm a pretty big fan of this deck in general, though, just because it has a couple of my favorites. Uh, one of them being Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and the other one being Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. But that was my original Star deck. I, got, I have to keep him as a favorite. I just still think he's really good. Uh, not as good as he used to be, but definitely still very good. And we'll probably only do one more fight after this. That first fight with Blue Goku ran way too long. I was I was really power hungry though. I wanted to get um wanted to get Rose Goku Black built up. And I was quite pleased with the results, if I may say so. And I know it's just gonna be taking a lot of damage, but I'm not really too worried. That's another uh, reason, I think, why I might want to switch, or drop Whis, rather, for, um, Final Explosion, uh, Blue Ball Vegeta. And even, I don't know, maybe I would, I would probably swap out Super Saiyan 3. Actually, no, uh, knowing me, I'd probably just get rid of Rose at Goku Black and, and include both Blue Ball Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but by then it's like nearly the same exact deck I run. With some exceptions. I can't help it though, like, the main deck I use, it, it's just so freaking good. I still have had no issues with it. Like, now and then, I have been lucky enough to come across a couple of people in Kanton who are willing to do a, a battle or two in Hero Coliseum. It's incredibly rare that I get to do so, but anyway, it made like any fight I go in, in with um, with other people cake. It's just a really uh, solid setup overall. I want to check how long this is running. How long? Have we been? Okay, nearly twenty minutes. You know, we're probably gonna call it after this one. Actually. Sorry if you're looking forward to another one, but it's it's getting late here and I'm getting pretty tired. Now it's risky on my part to chance taking another master hit by Blue Vegeta, but thankfully I got very lucky with the AI. And he's probably dead, yeah, we can skip that. Unfortunately, not getting the second up skills, of course, but still, all I got left, all he's got left is 17. I'm sad. Oh, you know what? I just realized, though. I just remembered he has way too much speed. I'm gonna actually be in trouble here. Yeah, I'm gonna check him really quick. Three times to it. Okay, so his speed's actually not that good. Then again, I think I have been lowering it. No, wait, I haven't. I haven't had Super Saiyan 3 Bardock on the field, like, at all. Let's see, if alone on the field, minus 50% damage to Master once only. Okay, so I'm pretty much safe here. Let's see. And just to play it safe, I'm going to put Bardock on the field, too. And put him behind Rosé. Yeah, I should have said this at the beginning, by the way, but, uh, doing this again with Roops Cubes. It's been a while since I did that. Take, take 
And this should hopefully be enough. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't... I, <laughs> I would have been like, what the hell if he'd like... Uh, but anyway, I'm really exhausted here. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Hope y'all did the same, and have a good day. I will see y'all next time. And uh, yes, I will be getting to his other suggestion very soon. Might have something here or there in between, but we'll see. Anyway, hope y'all have a great night, and uh, peace. Good night.